Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Earlier this week, I got in this very cool Blue Box Hyper Caesar Bust. Before we dig into this review, this is the first time I've ever had a talking ape in the collection, so I thought I'd ask him a few questions. Koba. Misunderstood? What did you think of that Thor Love and Thunder movie? Keeping with Marvel, how do you like what they did with the Incredible Hulk? Your boy Chewie over there said he could take you. What do you think about that? All right, enough kidding around. But this probably is the face I saw when I told my fiance I was getting another bust. Oh yeah, there it is. So this Caesar was made by a company called Blue Box Hyper. They uh, are out of Peru and they're known for making really lifelike, um, boy, I think all their stuff, silicone, silicone bust. And actually their prices compared to like Queen Studios and Infinity is uh, really good. And I think they've kind of gone up a little bit over the next last couple of years, but um, their work is outstanding. And this particular Caesar bust, they, they made two different versions. One was a war paint version from the second movie, so it was a little bit younger. And then they had this clean version that's from the third movie, which they called their old Caesar. Now for me, this stoic look on his face, when I think of Planet of the Apes, I mean, this is the, the expression that I remember. It kind of stuck in my head. So um, the war paint one does have the same expression. He's just a little bit younger. And then he has, um, of course, war paint on his face and on his body. Now, I like this version the best. But, uh, you know, it's a matter of preference. Some people may like the, the, the war version better. Now, last year, I think maybe it was kind of late last year, they did introduce a 2.0 version. And that 2.0 version, um, well, there's, there's two versions of the 2.0 version. One version actually has one arm on it. I think it's based off the, the Golden Gate scene. And uh, the other version has it without the arm. But on both versions, his mouth is wide open. So you can kind of see all the, the, the awesome teeth work that they did and all that kind of thing. Um, it's, it's a cool bust. But for me, again, this was kind of my favorite stoic look of the movie. So this is, this is my favorite. And I think out of all of them, they have an addition size of 50 for each version. So like this old man version, there was 50. Um, for the war paint version, there's 50. And then of the new ones, I think there's 50 each of the, the one with the arm and, and without the arm. And they also did a Koba, which, um, kind of a similar pose as this. In fact, uh, the base um, also uh, matches the base on this. But uh, I think a couple of the differences you can see on that Koba is his mouth is slightly open. So you can actually see some of that cool teeth work. Um, and I think the front is also uh, more silicone on Koba. He had like a receding chest hairline or something going on so his hair is not near as thick um he's got scars and all that so i think they added uh they added that to the the coba so that's it's a really cool version too and definitely something i'm uh tempted on picking up now this old man version and the uh war paint version um both are sold out now, the 2.0 version, this is being filmed in um, April 2024. They, they still have those versions. Um, 
as of now. Um, and Koba is also available. But these uh, original um, Caesar versions are no longer available and, and have to get on the secondary market, which that's what I got on uh, this one. I actually got this on eBay. Got delivered to me a, a few days ago. So really happy to, to have it in the collection. I definitely admired it in other people's collection. And actually, this is my, my very first blue box um, bust. So yeah, let's just kind of dive in and, and we'll start on the base. Now, Blue Box, on some of their stuff, has not had a base. I know they're like, their Pennywise, their first version, didn't have a base at all. And you kind of see that with some of the custom people, um, where, you know, they put all the work in the bust and a lot of the work in the head, and, and, the, and the base is kind of an afterthought, if uh, done at all. But for this Caesar, they did give it a base. I mean, it's nothing... Too super fancy. It's basically just a rock that says Caesar on it. Let me just kind of wheel it around. And then they continue the rock, and it's got uh, one of the symbols that you see in the movie. Now, for me, I, th I think this is, while it's minimal, I think it's a great design. Simple, but but effective. So, I really uh, I I like the the decision making they did on the base now the body um as mentioned the coba has i think silicone on the body where this is pretty much fully sculpted but caesar has a thick amount of hair and it's done really well i mean to get the hair just like this and the lay like this Really excellent job. Looks very realistic. You know, there's just some subtle color differences in some of these hairs, you know, that it makes it really look lifelike. But what is really impressive on this bust is the is the face sculpt. It is it is pretty amazing. So as mentioned, this is silicone. So it actually does feel real. And I think the paintwork that they did on this is kind of second to none. I mean, it, <laughs> it definitely looks like I've got Caesar here in my, in my home theater. camera you can kind of pick it out a little bit you can even see you know they've got like some snot in his nose to even give it a, a more realistic effect but just the coloring that they did on the lips on the face yeah just look at that and then the sculpt itself i mean they just nailed it Very well done. The eyes, kind of hard to pick up. Um, he's looking down a little bit and he squinted a little bit. They look very realistic. Now, I'm not positive that these are glass eyes. I think possibly they're acrylic, but they look very real. Yeah, it's... It's kind of hard for it to focus in in there, but it's also got a little bit of a bloodshot effect too. So very nice job with the eyes. And the ears, I remember when they first came out with this, like showed the proto to everyone, um, there was a couple of people pointed out, hey, the, the ears really should have hair on it. And as you can see, they've added a ton of little white hairs all over the ears. So, you know, great for them to, to listen to feedback and, and make the necessary corrections. So 
So yeah, all in all, I am very impressed with uh, with Blue Box Hyper's work here on Caesar. It looks really, really realistic. So as mentioned, this is my my first Blue Box, but I doubt this is going to be my last. So excellent job, Blue Box. If you guys got any questions, just throw them there in the comments. You know, what do you guys think of this bus? Just let me know. And until next time. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching another video. I'm a huge fan of home theater and these movie replica props. I'm going to put out a couple of videos each week in those areas. And if you're a huge fan like I am, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.